The secondary qualitative research on how teachers as stakeholders approach mindfulness practice in education has provided valuable information regarding the complexity of the roles mindfulness interventions are playing in addressing student needs as well as supporting teacher well-being needs in England. People sleeping, about to bed down or bedded down in the open air, such as on the streets, in tents, doorways, parks, bus shelters or encampments, people in buildings or other places not designed for habitation, such as stairwells, barns, sheds, car parks, cars, derelict boats, stations, or bashes. The purpose of this dissertation will be to analyse how the incorporation of an intersectional lens into UK government housing policies can improve policies towards homelessness and housing insecurity in the UK. The issue of homelessness has previously been understood through various lenses, including a human and social rights lens, a political economy lens in the form of a critique of neoliberalism and health and well-being lenses. As this dissertation is written for an undergraduate degree, the amount of time and areas of research that can be covered are limited. If more time were available, a comparison could be made with the United States in order to evaluate the different policies that have been implemented and the impacts on the situation of multiply burdened citizens. Another limitation is that all data used will be from secondary sources. This is a good psychological attitude for creativity and innovation, which are crucial in the current dynamic society. The students who engage in mindfulness are more likely to think flexibly and develop creative solutions to problems. This creativity can be applied not only to academic assignments but also to other situations in life. The effectiveness of mindfulness interventions in schools also depends on the buy-in and preparation of teachers. Over the past century, researchers have shown an increased interest in tackling racism in society. However, Parsons 2022 asserts that it is distressing to see the lack of improvement reported in government statistics on racial inequality in Britain in the past few years. Similarly, Commission for Race Equality Crescent, statistics suggest that well over half of the institutions surveyed in the field of education stated that they had not set any specific plans, or development objectives. Thus, there is little evidence to suggest that significant progress has been made in terms of tackling racial discrimination. It is without a doubt that for decades and centuries learning a new language was part of self-development and that is why many academic institutions initiated different languages as part of the curriculum even though learning a language is frequently considered a means of fostering intellectual development and a wider awareness of other cultures, resources like the ambassador interpreter may make it easier for people to function in multilingual settings.
Have you ever wanted to be bilingual and wondered how you can learn many languages in a short space of time? Well, there is a solution for you. Technology is enhancing the world of languages, and this is thanks to this recent technological innovation. Instead of traveling and paying large amounts of money just to learn languages, you can now converse in 20 languages by just wearing an earpiece device. A company called Waverly Labs has taken a step ahead and invented a small gadget that can bring people from different language backgrounds and understand each other. The Ambassador Interpreter is a product that has the potential to revolutionize cross-cultural communication and render language study unnecessary. The company promises that this invention can break language barriers. The elegant, over-the-air ambassador interpreter by Waverly Labs is a real-time conversation translator. Different from the common and traditional translators the ambassador interpreter enhances communication in different languages simultaneously. Immediately when switched on and worn, the device automatically picks up the conversation in real-time and delivers it to another participant instantly in just a few seconds. Advanced speech recognition and machine learning are used by this wearable translator to identify spoken language. It then translates the speech into the desired language, allowing for practically immediate communication. The ambassador interpreter is a vital tool in today's more globalized society because of its capacity to handle such a wide range of languages, from Mandarin and Arabic to Spanish and French. First, I want to express my gratitude to my lecturer, Dr. Katie Wright, Reader International Development, for all of her help with the dissertation. She led insightful lectures, oversaw my work, and inspired me to finish my dissertation before the deadline. I will always be grateful to her for providing support, inspiration, and companionship throughout the writing process. Without the educational perspective and ongoing help, motivation, and support of my mentor, it would not be feasible to conduct research. Second, I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to my husband for his patience, unending support, and motivation during my dissertation journey. Multicultural and anti-racist educational strategies can also be effective in promoting a sense of democracy and providing a foundation for social peace. Multicultural, anti-racist schools can have a significant and positive impact on society. Multiculturalism in the UK has been based on two major ways of thinking classical liberalism and pluralism. The former is grounded on human rights and personal freedom. For instance, it has been found that when schools address racial bias alongside other kinds of inequality on a whole school level, it benefits all pupils because it enables organizations to build intervention strategies on a more comprehensive understanding of all learners' necessities who may be disadvantaged on multiple grounds. According to anti-racists and multiculturalists, 
Racism is a fundamental component of capitalist societies with a white majority. Moreover, anti-racism, as a racial endeavor, protects against the manifestation of racism in society. Additionally, anti-racism is still visible in grassroots initiatives against school exclusions, in addition to efforts to generate anti-racist educational materials. The latter acknowledges the necessity of fostering cross-cultural communication and comprehension as well as the acknowledgement of internationally contextualized ideologies. Multicultural beliefs have emerged through racial discrimination challenges. Moreover, research shows that multicultural education has been partially successful in ensuring black and minority groups' rights and freedoms in education. In practice, culture refers to elite goods and activities such as haute cuisine, high fashion or haute couture, museum caliber art and classical music. The word cultured referred to people who knew about and took part in these activities. For example, someone who used culture in this sense might argue that classical music is more refined than music by working class people, such as jazz or the indigenous music traditions of aboriginal peoples. In search of lessons to apply in our own careers, we often try to emulate what effective leaders do. Roger Martin says this focus is misplaced, because moves that work in one context may make little sense in another. A more productive, though more difficult, approach is to look at how such leaders think. After extensive interviews with more than 50 of them, the author discovered that most are integrative thinkers that is, they can hold in their heads two opposing ideas at once and then come up with a new idea that contains elements of each but is superior to both. Well in 2004 we integrated ticketing in southeast Queensland. So we introduced a paper ticket that allowed you to travel across all the three modes in southeast Queensland, so bus, train and ferry and the second stage of integrated ticketing is the introduction of a smart card, and the smart card will enable people to store value so to put value on the card, and then to use the card for traveling around the system.